Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue, and in this video, I'm gonna make some super easy metal legs for a coffee table. Cutting all of the pieces for the legs on my super cool Evolution Chop Saw. You wanna cut four pieces to your desired height, minus the thickness of the tabletop. In this case, I want a 20 inch high table. The table is one and a half inches thick, so I'm cutting the upright parts of the legs to 18 and a half inches in length. Then, cut two crossbar pieces. My table width is 26 inches. I'm doing a one inch setback on each side, plus the width of the uprights, which all together totals about six inches. So my crossbar pieces are 20 inches. Place the crossbar between the two uprights and square that up. Now I'm tack welding everything first to make sure nothing warps out of place. Once you've tack welded all of that, then you wanna go back and fill in all those welds. And of course, once you get those welded, you wanna go back and grind those, clean up those welds a bit. In order to attach it to the bottom side of the table, I'm using a two inch by eighth inch thick flat bar, and then I'll just drill a hole in the top of that, and that's what's gonna to mount to the bottom of the table. So I'm adding a clamp here because as I've welded, and even though I went back and welded the entire thing, it is out by about a sixteenth of an inch, so I just want to tighten that up a little bit to make sure that it fits that flat bar nicely. Now just like I did the legs, I'm going to go back and put a quick tack weld on both sides just to make sure that everything looks nice and square and everything comes out the way I want it to come out. Then I'll go back and fill in all those welds, grind those up, and make them look all pretty. Okay, so I've made two legs, and you can either leave them as raw steel, um, or you can even make a, uh, a center brace that goes between them, but I'm just gonna use the two legs uh, separately, so there's not gonna be a center brace uh, between the two legs. So here I'm just drilling a hole that's gonna allow me to uh, secure it to the bottom of the table. Now, if I were to leave these a uh, kind of a brushed steel, uh, I'm using a buffing pad with a 120 grit sandpaper and just kind of going over that and just giving it a nice, even sanded surface. And then I would put a clear coat on top of this to prevent it from rusting. You can use your grinder, but I, I find using a flap wheel, it's just not consistent and it's not even. And um, by using a buffing pad with a, a 120 grit, uh, it just kind of makes it look a lot nicer. Now, while I'm making these, I had decided that, oh, these might be a product that I could put on my, uh, my website to sell. And um, so I'm gonna buff these up, take some pictures. For this particular project, I'm actually gonna be painting these black. And this is like the easiest way to put uh, some feet on the, um, on the table legs. Just kind of pop them in there with rubber mallet and boom, you're done. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna be painting these black. I had taken the rubber feet back out again, or the plastic feet, should I say. Uh, you know, a quick tip for painting. You don't have to make sure that the entire thing is covered the first go around. Don't worry if it's splotchy, just give it a nice, quick, even coat. And if you can notice, I don't start spraying on the piece. I start off the piece and end off the piece. That way you don't get any paint runs on the product. So again, start off, end off, start off, end off. You do end up kind of wasting a little bit of your spray paint that way, but it is a much cleaner look when you finish painting. Now I'll go back and probably paint these three or four times. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to get a base coat of color on there, let it dry, and then go back and put a second coat and start to fill in some of those areas of shading. And to secure these, I'm just using some short one inch lags going right into the wood. And then here's the finished product. Simple, clean, super easy to make. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, leave those down below. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. And I'd like to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. 
Barry and Marlene Rush, Fun Kiss Artistic Creations, and Judy Clothier. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.